All right, so this nut, before you take it off, make sure you get a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and you whack it right here in the top, right lining up with your with the little hole right there. Welcome to my channel. I want your panel. Two thousand seven for Econoline. <clears throat> if you're doing a uh, ABS sensor, this is what you gotta take out. You're gonna have to take out your caliper. It's hole by two twenty one. Then you're gonna remove the whole uh, rotor here. So that's hole by a twenty seven right in the center here but before you do that you got to remove that pin that little uh, washer there and then the bearing and there's a big washer here on the bearing so um, then you're gonna have this is hole by three a millimeter uh, so it's gonna be one right there one on the bottom and there's one right behind, right behind this bracket right there. So this one, got to take it off right there. And there's gonna be another one back here. Probably gotta make. Take the extension off. Gotta make sure it goes in first. Right there. Um, Three eight, right there. Um, then your sensor is gonna be connected right here with this other connection. Just unbolt it there. Show you the part number in there. Here's the part number. So to reinstall it back, just make sure you put it back where it was, and then reset the light. And when you put in this back, make sure you put some more grease in it. Put a lot of grease before you slide the thing in, because those are two bearings there, one, one in the back, and then the one on the front. All right. Before you reinstall the new one, make sure you get a hammer and and a flathead screwdriver and knock all this rust off. That way you know that your sensor is not gonna because the sensor has the magnet on the end. So, so you know when you hit a pothole or something. This metal is not gonna fall in, and then give you the give you the code again. You do that all around that, clean it real good. Just scrape it, and then you, if you're not doing new rotors, make sure you scrape. You gotta scrape your rotor in the inside. See how dirty that look? So we gotta scrape. Scrape all this off. See? Probably this vent, that's, that actually maybe that sensor is not even bad. That thing was full of, uh, right here, the sensor couldn't read anymore. It was full of uh, metal, all this crap. So probably that, that sensor probably still good. Uh, but it's okay, we're not gonna take a chance. It's a lot of work to do this sensor, so might as well just do it once. Um, so just make sure 
Make sure you clean it real good. All right, let me go ahead and do that. All right, so here we got the grease. So we just gotta put the bearing in. All right, so this nut, before you take it off, make sure you get a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and you whack it right here in the top. Right, lining up with your with the little hole right there so you know exactly where to put it. You don't wanna over tie this stuff or you don't wanna leave it too loose. Uh, so we got the sensor in now. We got all the grease in. Now we just gotta put the caliper back. And of course, don't forget your little locking washer here. And you get your ping. down right there when it goes all the way down then you open it up right there you open it up uh, now it's time to put the cover back on which is if I can find it, it's right here. Oh, you yeah. are. This one. I'm gonna put it there. You wanna get a hammer. That's it. Put your caliper back and done. And uh, make sure you connect. Make sure you connect your your thing here where it goes. And reset the light if you don't have a scanner. But if you're doing this, I'm sure you know you which one is bad. But if not, you just unplug the battery, and the code is gonna get reset.